Okay, Ramblers, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons and we are at the State Fair. That's one gigantic squeaky toy. <laughs> All right, so we have lobster dog, fair food. We're gonna have to do a top five fair foods. We're gonna have to try a lot. This is a lobster dog. Shut up. Definitely a contender for number one spot. Lobster dog. All right, fried corn nuggets. I'm sorry, I just knocked one out of my wife's hands. Try a little bit of this mayonnaise stuff. All right, fried elote. Yeah. Sweet and spicy. Mmm. That's good. Alright, I'm here in front of the world famous Fletcher's for a Fletcher's corn dog. Take the first bite without anything on it. Oh, come on. That is too good. Mmm. So far, the fair food has not disappointed. This is so good. I'm gonna tell you though, <clears throat> come with money. This corn dog and one beer is $14. This Fletcher's corny dog, the world famous Fletcher's corn dog, right here, y'all. just hanging out with big Tex. He's the new one, the old one burned out a few years ago. He's cool though. Those horses are huge. 18 hands. That's how big those horses are. Look at my wife. Having some folks take a nice memory photo. dog show now we're gonna go look at the children's aquarium and maybe ride the gondolas 
My wife swears we have to get a funnel cake before we leave. So that's next on the list and it's it's 250. We, we've been here for a while now. <laughs> a lot later than we thought we were. <laughs> Got some freshly brewed sweet tea. So refreshing. So good. Mm, only three tickets. By far one of the cheapest things here. Go. Big text in the background. All right, we got chocolate covered banana, number five on the fair foods. Come on. All right. Fried meatballs. Tell me, how are they? Delicious. Delicious. All right, y'all know how I'm a freak for dinosaurs. something on your face. with a caiman lizard here at the Texas Children's Aquarium. You may have seen a lizard like this on Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles. Let's check that guy out. He's cool, man. Just for a size comparison, those are some big trout. That's not a log. That is a snapping turtle. Freshwater snapping turtle. Look at that guy. He is ginormous. Good gravy. He's in here with a couple of sunfish. Probably some pretty good eating. And all of them back there. <laughs> now these are probably in a lot of fish tanks. These are some red skirt tetras. And they're dither fish. They need a lot of room to swim. They don't need to be in these tiny little 20 gallon tanks. This is size appropriate for them. 
Got some back there too, some Tetris. Tetris need a lot of room to swim. So if you see him at the pet shop, don't get him. Got an angelfish back there with some piranha. Go figure. Those are red bellies. These are how big cichlids get. These are also in pet shops. Look at how big those cichlids are. So when you get them in a pet shop, they're probably an inch long. The cichlids are from Africa, typically. These are from Mexico, and they are huge. Here are the African cichlids. So those other ones are the Mexican ones. These are African cichlids, and these are gotta be five, six inches long. Cichlids need to have a huge tank. They're beautiful. As a community tank, they come all over from the lakes of Africa. I don't have enough room to keep cichlids in my house. Now that's about the size that they are when you get them from the pet store. Here we go, it's an electric eel. Check that guy out. So we got a lot of melanistic ones, melanoid ones, the darker ones, and then you got the other ones that are albinos. We got one of each at the house, frankenbeans. So these are babies. I would imagine these are just a couple months old. Those two down there are fighting. That one's probably four or five months old, maybe six months old. He's bigger. They all look really healthy though. So we just got stopped by one of the people who work here and I told him I have a YouTube channel and he's about to feed these babies. We're gonna watch them feed them some smelt. So cool. Oh, there's one of the adults. Yes. Oh, he looks healthy. Oh yeah. That guy's gonna eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Couple of green tree skinks. Super cool. Oh, we got one right here. Look at you. Hi, guy. There we go. Beautiful animals. Big old teeth in the front. Yep. He's got a little gap in them. <laughs> <laughs> spoiled and have one more piece. The baby. The baby. Welcome to Stingray Bay. Let's go. Check them out. Oh my 
my gosh, you're adorable. Yeah, I would take you home. I know I would. My fishing's not big enough for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi. Oh, so pretty. Y'all are beautiful. Hi, honeys. Hi, honeys. Hi. <laughs> Puppy dogs. They just want to be pet. Look at that. Look at them. Crazies. Crazies. Look at, look at that mouth. Let me back out. Oh, yeah. That's worst nightmare. exhibit here and if you notice the moon jellies are going in a circle moon jellies are extremely delicate and if they bump into the sides of their tank they'll die so moon jelly exhibits have the water circulating in a circle and are typically circulating themselves in the exhibit so that they don't bump into the walls they're a cool animal lionfish I love the way lionfish look, but they are extremely invasive here in the United States, especially in Florida. Look at that guy. You do not want to step on one of those. Oh, look, he decided to show up. Look at that puffer. Oh, big boy, chonky boy. And talking about the chonky man. <laughs> He is gorgeous. Check out that guy right there. What a character. <laughs> oh, you know, just a couple of sea dragons hanging out. So gorgeous. Check him out. Look at how beautiful those colors are, man. Are you displaying a display animal? Oh man, you are gorgeous, fella. Check out these sea dragons. Well, you know, 
just hanging out while more eel swims behind you. No big deal. No big deal at all. That's a wolf eel. I see you. I see you, bro. Close. He won't get you. And that is a four-eyed fish. Right there on top. Two eyes on top. Two eyes on bottom. Top. Bottom. <laughs> You coming to say hi, bud? <laughs> We've been meaning to reach you about your car's extended warranty, so. Hello? Is this a fish or an oil painting? Doctor fish. y'all that is a wrap on the texas state fair fair food some music some cool exhibits man we'll be back next year That's a wrap on day two of our trip to the Texas State Fair. Go down there, like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you never miss any of the videos that we post. I want to wrap this video up, though. We had so much fun. There was tons of stuff to do, eat, look at, all sorts of cool exhibits. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. And we will see you on the next video. Gigantic squeaky toy. <laughs>